Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, hold on. Let me finish. Don't you cut me off. I'm Do not this cut. Question. Hold up. Don't yes. ask me a question before I finish. No, no I'm up, up, you. Zip. I'm, I'm zip. No, no, no. Zip it. This right here is exactly why we need more righteous fathers in the homes raising these kids up to have respect and accountability for their own actions. Do you believe racism exists? Absolutely. And where's your proof of that? <laughs> My proof? Yes. Um. When was the last time you stepped inside of a prison? Uh, about a year or two. Okay. Um, where? Where was this prison at? What does prison have to do with racism? I'm just curious. That may upset and trigger some folks, but let's talk about it. Up north. Where? Up in, uh, I believe we were up in the Fresno area, somewhere up in there. How many um, black people did you see? <coughs> a truckload. Everybody and their mama. I think, that's a, I think that's every state. Right. I think that's a pure sign of um, racism to me. That's your proof? I think so. Is your proof that blacks in prison, that's a proof of racism? What? But had they not done the crime, would they be doing the time? Yeah, but it's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's, it's bigger than the crime, my, my friend. Yeah, but they did it, but, but excuse, insert this. No accountability, no reflection in the mirror on, on the actions that you get yourself involved in. That, I know where this is going. How is that? Because it's all right. So, what I know about prison, and I have a lot of, I have a lot of experience right. in prison. Do you? Prison is a business, right? Yeah, of okay. course. Prison. It should be. So, so when it, when prison is a business, when prison is a business, somebody has to fill these prisons because we, the, the money needs to be made, correct? Right. Right. So, like, if you have a pig farm and you run out of pigs, what the f is going on? You got to go find some pigs, correct? Right. Okay. So when you have a prison and there's in business, you have to find Potty prisoners, man. correct? Right. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me, let me, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me finish, don't you cut me off. Do not cut, hold up, don't ask me a question before I finish. No, I'm asking zip, zip, zip it. Listen, hold on, I'm not finished. You're not asking I'm not, I'm not finished. I'm not, 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 if they didn't do the crime, I am not. I'm not. Why can't you I'm ask not. Question? We don't have much time. Finished. So let me finish, make and then we won't do this. Hold up, hold up, yep, yep, zip, zip, zip. Oh. Well, I'll be dogged. I didn't know this is what respect looked like. I didn't know that this is how you are supposed to carry yourself in society. This is how you get. Mm, 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 mm. mm. Land sakes, this brother needs a spanking. Like he needed it way back. It's too late for it now, but. I see why you may have a lot of experience with prison. I don't know if you've actually been there. I don't know if you're just fronting and making false claims and tossing that out there to somehow get some street cred. I don't know what the deal is, but when you carry yourself with this level or lack of dignity and respect, and you don't respect others that are your elders, that you're there to just have civil discourse, and you can't simply go about that simple action, what do you think is going to happen? How do you think people are going to treat you? It's not a racist thing. It's a you're acting a fool sort of thing. So you you get what's coming to you. You get what you deserve. So what I'm saying is that prisons have to be filled and somebody has to fill them. So if the white people, if there are people in position of this country and the most of the majority of the people are black, that's a sign of racism to me. So if they didn't do the crime, would they be doing the time? How are the drugs brought into, 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 how are drugs, guns, and everything else brought into these areas? Why are this so prevalent in these areas and it's not in other areas? That's a question, because that immediately results in crime, into crime. Do you agree? No. You don't agree. <laughs> uh -uh. You don't agree, you don't agree that if we populate drugs if we make drugs accessible right here and guns accessible right here to these people that don't have shit that's not gonna in, that's not gonna increase crime that's not racism why it not may, how is not may, the, how is that not racism because uh it doesn't exist it's it doesn't exist life. racism does not exist <clears throat> nobody made you pick up the gun or the drugs or go sit on the corner and do what you do or pimp out these women or do any of the illicit sin-filled actions that these people choose to get involved in now i'm not saying that it isn't enticing but nobody makes you do that sort of stuff and the people bringing the guns over are the people that, that use the guns illegally, by illegal means. White people ain't just coming in with helicopters dropping guns into these 
inner city neighborhoods and say, oh, go run wild, kill each other. And nobody makes you kill your fellow brother and sister to rep your hood or your block or God's creation. You're not supposed to treat others that way. You're supposed to love your neighbor as yourself. So the lack of love for humanity is the problem. It's not a, a racism problem. It's not a, a racism, skin tone, melanin content issue. It's a heart problem. It's good versus evil. It's a made up lie. May I tell you why? Amazing. <laughs> Who is this guy? Like, what the hell? What, what, this, what, what the f am I at right now? What is this? <laughs> and so I grew up under the Jim Crow law. You ever heard of that? Yes. On so a so, you, so on, that's not racism? On a plantation. I was born and raised on a plantation in Alabama. Wow. Not one time did anyone in my family pick up guns or take drugs or hate white people or blame anyone for their situation. Amen. And we grew up in a tin roof home, outdoors Love. bathroom. If that causes crime, why did I see it then? Because maybe drugs wasn't made available. No, There's different around. things. No, they were around. They didn't pick them up. Well, listen, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and try to debate with you on what, what I believe. And I think a lot of people, a lot of people out there, hey, guys, everybody, <laughs> I think a lot of people is going to agree that drugs and guns is going to, and, and, and poverty is going is going to enhance criminal behavior. It's just going to promote it. A gun is a tool. A gun doesn't make you do anything. A gun doesn't dictate anything. It, a gun doesn't pick itself up and start popping off. Neither do drugs. They don't just put themselves into your hands and down your your esophagus. They don't do that. It, poverty. Nobody made you be poor. You can go out there and get a job. You can work two, three jobs. You can study. You can grind. You can get up out of whatever situation you're in. The means and resources are there. I know some areas, there, there's less resources. I'm not naive to that fact. But there is always a way if you have the will, the drive, and the ambition. You don't have to do everything everybody else is doing. You don't have to look and be jealous at what's on the next man or woman's plate. And you don't have to notice skin color. We all are one race, one blood, created by God Almighty. Share the same two ancestors Adam and Eve that's a fact so all these minute minuscule made up details that you're talking about and prioritizing are irrelevant they don't dictate the success you do or don't have you do your actions your decisions or lack thereof decide that outcome what I'm telling you is how can you come from the Jim Crow how can you come from a plantation and not believe that there is racism like is that that's like retarded to me. I don't even understand that <laughs> shit. Because it doesn't exist. It's so a made vulgar. up lie by the children of the Yo, lie. So you remind you me of this officer that was in jail with me before that. He was an officer there. Was he black? And he, yeah, he was black, but he, he said that he wasn't black. He said he was actually French Canadian. Oh. Yeah. So he really wasn't black? No, he was black like you. He was black. I well, mean, are you from black? from a different country? Are you black? As the ace of space. So, I mean, But let black. me ask you this. If these people who take these drugs and commit these crimes and do these things, if they had character, if they were men and women of character, would they be doing that? Would they be doing what? Killing and using drugs and things like that. Listen. Let me tell you something. You're not answering that question. No, I'm answer about my, to tell no, you something no, no. right now. I'm know, about to answer it right my, now. You're not answering my I question. I am about to. Have you, you ever seen? Have you ever seen a drug oh. addict? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Drugs f people up. They f they turn people that. into different shit. Right. So when you put drugs into play, obviously it turns people into different people. Different well, what's things wrong start with working. them before they take the drug that causes them to take drugs. What make them take the same drugs? thing that's wrong with you, or the same thing that's wrong with me, or What's the same that? thing, or the same thing. If they seen it all their lives, if they seen it, I just came. If they seen people using drugs all their lives, then it becomes normal. My then son it grew up normal. in New York. My son grew up in New York. He lived. Your around, son is one person. He lived around. Your people son is that one he person. Saw take drugs. Your son and is there one were person. people in his family on his mother's side who drank, who took drugs, who did all those things. He had friends going through school who did it. He never did it at all. He's one person. Drink. That's but, so one. Not how true. can you? How can you? How can you judge a whole nation of people and a whole group of people by one person? That's f retarded. If a man or a woman or a child had a uh, man or woman of character, would they do drugs? Jesus Christ! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, how you doing today? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. I, you, can you answer that? If they had character, if they were men or women of character. I think I answered this like 30 times already, man. Like, Maybe I'm, I'm going to keep on. Slow. You're going to keep on. 
Um, I'm black you know and slow. You say you're black, you're slow. What did you say, son? I'm black and slow, so it'll take me a little while. So Amazing. <laughs> if men and women of character, would they do drugs or kill others if they had what is character? It, what, explain of character. Explain that to if me. If they what loved all people. If they loved all people, would they take drugs? Right. I believe so. You know, okay. No. <laughs> I absolutely love these interviews, y'all. Jesse just lets these guests expose themselves. They just, the more they talk, the more they, they make themselves look like a fool. The more they run at the mouth, the more we know where they stand and they should have just kept it closed instead of unveiling what they actually are in, in, in the moment. I pray for them. They're lost. They're stranded. This man clearly hasn't picked up many books or else he would have a better vocabulary with a whole lot less vulgar words. And, you know, he'd be able to diagnose the situation and break it down as isolated. Now I see the fact that when people grow up, they gravitate towards their surroundings. They gravitate to what everybody around them is doing. But at some point you got to grow up, put your big girl, big boy pants on and say, you know what? This doesn't feel right. This isn't leading me anywhere promising. This isn't adding and, and aiding in uplifting myself, my community, people around me. How about coming over here to the sober side? How about being a good Samaritan, a good just citizen? Love yourself. Don't label yourself by these colors and these names and these hoods and the criminal, ex-felon or whatever it may be. Why do we have to go out there, promote violence, promote drug culture? You're a rapper. If I had to take a guess, I'm assuming you're rapping about this culture. You're enticing it. You're uplifting it. You're giving it a platform and therefore promoting it to younger generations. So when they see that, what do you think that's going to make them want to do? So if you don't like the, the outcomes that are being had in these communities, if you don't like the way the prisons look, all black people, all whatever it may be, why don't you go out there and tell people the alternative route? Why don't you go educate these people and say, you know what? This isn't the way. Participating in these activities, not going to lead you anywhere but prison. I'm just saying. And respect to JLP because this dude was completely disrespectful and condescending. And, and Jesse didn't stoop down to his level and he handled himself with nothing but class. Someone should remind this man, China, China Mac or China Black, that despite how rude he is, he should stop talking like this because you can speak and act normally if you want people to take you seriously. If you want to get your point across, be civil, be respectful, be hospitable because Jesse let you come on his show, gave you a platform, whether your following is greater or less than Jesse's. He allowed you the time of day to discuss and this is how you treat him. This is how you deliver yourself and, and project yourself. How do you think this represents your family, your community, your country where you're from? Come on now, you gotta think about these things before you open your mouth. Let me just simplify it real quick and break it down because a lot of people don't seem to understand. They say, oh, there's all black people in these prisons in every single state, it's gotta be racist. But a prison is a structure, it's an inanimate object. Prisons, they don't find criminals. Criminals find prisons. If you do the crime, if you go against the law, you gotta do the time, you gotta serve your sentence. It's a, a guideline. It's there. Just like the Bible, it tells you what to do, what's prohibited and what's acceptable. If you go against that, you got to re respect what, what comes after that. The ends don't justify the means. Just because you want to feel peace and bliss and you want to be rich and famous and all of that, that doesn't mean that you should take drugs or that you should sell drugs or that you should kill somebody because you want what they got. People choose to do these things. Nobody's forcing you to do it. And then to have the nerve to try to make excuses by pointing at your environment and saying that, that this is the reason and, and they have no control over making their own decisions. But in reality, you decided to do that. You decided to put time, effort, and energy into not contributing to society in a positive way. So why don't you learn from people's failures around you? Why don't you say, okay, that person ended up there because they made these decisions. How about I don't do that? And then maybe you'd learn and then maybe you'd become successful because I can guarantee you there isn't one person in the history of humanity that hasn't failed many times before and then eventually had to figure it out that, hey, going this route, not gonna work. If you keep repeating the same things over and over and expecting a different result, that, in fact, is insanity. So let's go this route and maybe I'll find success over there because this route isn't leading anything promising, isn't adding any value to the world. So let's stop doing this and let's start participating in righteousness. That's a fact. I can guarantee you if you stop going the route that everybody else in your community is going that winds them up dead or in jail and you go this route, 
it's going to be just fine. Continue to pray for these lost souls to reach repentance and put their faith and confidence in Jesus Christ instead of things of this world. That's what will it, change the game. And hopefully they wake up, not just being not being woke, truly wake up, tuck these excuses and false ideologies and woke facade virtue signals into bed, wake up and pursue righteousness and go down that narrow gate that Wide is the path that lead to, leads to destruction. Narrow is the way. Narrow is the gate that leads to life and salvation. Let's direct them over to that route and God help them. Don't forget to like this video by smashing the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring the notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a video. Just in case YouTube forgets to let you know, I appreciate you. I love y'all for doing so. If you want to take it a step further, you like what we're doing over here, you want to show a little extra love and support, by no means do you have to, but you can get awesome designs like this Godfidence, knowing I can't, but he can. These designs are made over my wife's Etsy store by her, customized in-house, all of that, insulated tumblers, petite, teat, small sizes to big, big and hefty for the 5X folks out there, all different sizes and colors. Like I said, we don't discriminate. We appreciate y'all. It goes a very long way and allowing me to continue to do what I do. All my other links are down below in the description section. Shout out to the Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee fam. Anybody who's ever joined the Gibson family on YouTube by hitting that little join button and becoming a member, I'm so grateful for y'all. I can't thank you enough and put into words and context just how appreciative I am for you guys showing up every single video and allowing my freckle face to rant at you. I just love y'all so much and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. I'll be praying for you. Until next time, Godspeed, I'm gone.